Hi, Jason with Tormach. We recently teamed up with Autodesk to make the volume knob on their factory speaker demo. Traditional parts like this present a unique challenge in that we want to show the capability of the machine, but we also need very high process reliability. The last thing we want to worry about at a trade show is the part itself. So for this demo, we had our PCNC 440 with a power drawbar installed, but no ATC. So my whole goal was to cut the entire part with a single tool and have the machine run for about an hour. We had to make about 150 parts for this trade show, so we needed to get through the parts fairly quickly, but we also wanted it to run a while. So with the part needing small engraving and 3D profiling, I was pretty much you know, constrained to using an eighth inch ball end mill. Um, not exactly a great roughing tool or my first choice to bore out a quarter inch diameter hole, but every project has its headaches. So let's jump to the cutting here and we'll work through and we'll share um, what we did to make this part turn out. All right, so here's the roughing pass. Um, we're using an eighth inch ball end mill. It is a two flute. It's just a standard purpose end mill. It's not a aluminum specific or anything. It's just something I had laying around in my toolbox. So we were a quarter inch deep. We did a 10% or about a 12 thou with the cut on this and we left 2000 stock. It was ran at 10,000 RPM and 45 inches a minute. So for the roughing strategy here, you can see we're using adaptive roughing. We went with a quarter inch depth of cut and a 10% step over, so about a 12,000 step over. One thing that I played with quite a bit that ended up making the surface finish of the part come out really nice was the fine step down. I ended up with about a 40,000 step down. As you'll see as it's roughing, it takes the big depth of cut and then it steps back up the part. This really keeps the tool load consistent on your finishing patches, which is one of the tricks to getting a nice surface finish. We cut all this with about a 2,000 stock to leave, and then we did 10,000 RPM at 45 inches a minute. Then we came back with a ramping tool path for finishing. I started on the bottom of the part and worked my way up. This we did a 10,000 max step per revolution. We kind of played with the step overs a little bit to kind of get a surface finish that we thought looked neat. We weren't going for necessarily a completely polished finish, but we wanted it to have a nice aesthetic to it. Then we came in on the top here and we did a horizontal with the morph spiral for the finishing. And as you can see, I left a little bit of stock on the outside of this. I just thought it looked cool when we were cutting it, so I left a little bit of radial stock on it. We did this all at 10,000 RPM and 45 inches a minute as well with a 15,000 step over. Then we came back with an engraving tool path, same speeds and speeds there, and just put the logos on them. So we load the machine up here for OP2. As you can see, we just used some soft jaws and bored some holes in to hang onto the part. We did another adaptive strategy for to rough off the chucking stock here. So this was machined at quarter inch deep in the 12 thou step over again, but this was 10,000 RPM at 65 inches a minute. So we ended up being able to go a little faster on the back side. Then we had to bore the hole. This was the part of the project that was the most troublesome. Trying to bore a hole with an eighth inch end mill, a ball end mill, nonetheless, is, is a little difficult. So we did have a few issues with getting that dialed in, breaking a couple end mills and stuff, but we were able to get it running nice at um, 10,000 RPM, 18 inches a minute, and 7,000 pitch, so 7,000 per revolution. Um, and then we came back with a finish pass and just with cutter compensation to size the hole in because these were a press fit onto the rheostat. So there you have it. There's the parts. Definitely a fun little project. Fun working with Autodesk on this. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, check out other YouTube videos here, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel here.